Hello, Chris. Felicity, this is Melanie, my um... ex-wife, current lover. <laughs> Hi. Hello. You looking for honey? No, not really. What happened happened, but let's just move on. Just like that? Why make it messy when it doesn't have to be? I always get what I want, Chris. I'm free now. Honey and I are no longer an item. Yes, yeah, so I heard, but uh, that doesn't mean you and I are about well, we to become... We were exciting, weren't we? It was fun. Start of something, Chris. I know it is. There's nothing to talk about. There's lots to talk about. Don't try to fold me off, Chris. It won't work. You don't sleep with someone and then try to pretend they don't exist. He shouldn't be too much longer. I hope he's not keeping me waiting for the hell of it. Of course not. Like I said, it's an urgent call. Mm. I hope you don't think I'm having a go at you. I know it's your job to lie for him. God knows I have my staff do the same for me. I've noticed. <laughs> I hear you're opening a new store. Mm. It's silly, I know, in the current economic climate, but I need the challenge. I think it's important to keep moving forward. I quite agree. I don't know how you stuck it out here all these years. Oh, Michael's off the phone. You can go in now. Hi, Alex. Hello, darling. I was just saying, poor Jenny spent almost as much time as I did running round after you. She deserves a medal. You should nominate her for one of those Secretary of the Year things. Yes, Lexi, well, Jenny's been promoted. She's our Chief Administrative Officer these days. Oh, really? That does sound important. Did you think of the title or the answer? Alex, what do you want? Well, couldn't you start with a few pleasantries? Like, how is everything? How are the children? How are the children? Well, let's see. Rachel's still threatening to leave school. Last week she announced she was going to drown herself in the bath when I refused to send her to one of those outrageously expensive modelling academies. Unfortunately, she changed her mind, so she's still with us. As for Jonathan, he still refuses to come home from Weatherby. I should be offended he prefers boarding school to home, but I'm not. Last time we talked, he seemed obsessed with things leather, but uh, I suppose that's just a phase he's going through. It's all right, Alex, I get the point. I'm sorry, I haven't seen much of them lately, but with this takeover business, you know... I'm... Well, you can make up for it now. Sure, you want me to take Rachel for the weekend? I want you to take her for a couple of weeks. I'm planning another overseas buying trip. Fine. It's not going to interfere with any domestic arrangements? No. Nope. You haven't found yourself another trolley, Dolly. No, I've been living the life of a monk recently. You won't be putting her into any moral danger. <laughs> it's not her I'm worried about. Just uh, let me know when you've finalised your plans. Thanks. I thought you'd put up a fight. Why? I wouldn't have won. No. Oh, and thanks for putting me on to that Nielsen boy. He shows a lot of promise. Heaven help him. <laughs> Is she the only one? I swear, in all the time we've been apart, I haven't even looked at another woman. Let's not get carried away here. It's true, she's the only one, and it was nothing. It, it'd be such a waste if this mistake was to ruin our relationship. Well, I suppose we have been apart for a long time. You must have been pretty lonely. Oh, yeah, but uh, well, loneliness is no excuse for being unfaithful. That's a risk you run with a long-distance relationship. I'd be pretty naive to think you'd never be attracted to anyone else. Well, yeah, sure, but uh, being attracted to someone is one thing. Acting on it is another. You're only human. I thought you'd be more upset. I never thought you were perfect. Yeah, but... So? Why scream and shout about it when we can just forgive and forget? Steve, he's paid his dues to society. Why can't you just forgive him? It's not that simple, Sam. Of course it is. What, you're going to stay angry at him for the rest of your life? Yep. Oh, how can you turn your back on your own flesh and blood? He's your father, man. Sam, 
Drop it. <gasps> okay, your father. So he's been in prison. Okay, so what? It's not like he's an ex-murderer or something. Come on, so he made a few bad investments. Bad investments, all, yeah. right? Is that what he told you? Yeah, something to do with some money which went wrong. Come Sam, he ripped off people, okay? People who couldn't afford to be ripped off. Yeah, okay, okay, but he's sorry. Oh, man! You don't know anything about him! Look, everything that man says is a whole pack of lies. I suggest you just stay out of it, man. Oh, Dr. McKenna, mm -hmm. I'm organising a fundraising event tomorrow for Josh. Oh, yeah. And the thing is, we need a kind of a gimmick to attract attention. And I came up with the idea of pushing a hospital bed around the street. And you want to borrow a clinic bed? Yes. Yeah, I don't see why not. Great. It'll be really good for publicity. Yeah. And if you get some publicity, it might attract more donations. Snowball effect. Yeah, well, that's what I thought. Actually, uh, I don't mind doing my bit. What time is it? You, you want to join us? Sure. Great. Um, about lunchtime. Good. I'll be there. <clears throat> Caught with your pants down again, I see. Well, it's the least I could do. It seems to give so much pleasure to so many people. And you had the cheek to deny having anything to do with Andrea Cotton? Because I wasn't. Because you went caught, you mean? I didn't do anything. Oh, no. Apart from sleeping with Hone's girlfriend. Ex-girlfriend. And that was all your fault, anyway. My fault? You people! Having bets on whether or not I can stay faithful and then throwing women in my path like it's some kind of sport. I figure if nobody believes I can be faithful, I might as well behave as badly as everybody expects. Are you serious? Sort of. We... Tomorrow's admissions. <gasps> We're running our feet as it is. Yes, Michael's well aware of that. He's starting interviews for new staff in the morning. Not before time. You can call in casual nurses if you need to. Just make sure they see me first so I can issue them with temporary ID cards. Sure, I'd hate to see anyone shot by Border Patrol. I don't think our security measures are that unreasonable. No. Well, I don't think we really need ID cards. We have to keep a track of who's in the building. You've got cameras to do that. They're to protect the staff as much as anything. Or check up on them. That's not the intention. Then why have a camera in the staff room? To protect the staff lockers. Well, these ID cards do have complete control over staff movements. Yes, if we need it. So you could use them as timesheets? That is not the reason they were introduced. <laughs> it makes sense. I mean, it's effective and you'd have complete control over how much time everybody worked. It could be done that way, yes. So, is that the plan? There are no definite plans. Declan. Good night, Sam. Oh, Steve's not home, but um, come in. Oh, great. Good night, Alison. Hi. I thought I'd risk a surprise visit. Yeah. Uh, I don't suppose you've had a chance to have a chat to Steve. Yeah. I suppose I was asking a bit much. And you guys will sort it out. He probably just wants to do it on his terms. Yeah, it's a lot like his old man. Well, I guess you two know him pretty well. Yeah. Yeah. We used to be close, but uh, I don't know anything about his life anymore. I've tried to imagine where he was living, well, where he was working, uh, whether he had a girlfriend. Oh, that's Sarah. Oh, she's pretty. She sure is. Mm. Is it serious? Sarah passed away. He loved her very much, though. How? Cancer. Oh, poor bugger. Yeah. You would have liked her. Everyone else did. Yeah. Hey, do you think that I, uh... Could I, um... What? <laughs> no, 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 it doesn't on, matter. Go no, on, I, go on. Do you think I could take this away and get a copy? I'll bring it back tomorrow. Uh, I'm not so sure. I don't really know. As long as he brought it straight back. Look, take it. But look after it. Hey, thanks. Thanks. I'll see you. Stuart, it's for you. I feel like a secretary. Hi. I'm not interrupting your artistic flow, am I? Afraid so. I'm sorry. How's it going? Can I have a look? Afraid not. Doesn't leave anyone look at his work, not even me. I see. So what's up, Dara? Well, I need some volunteers. You remember Josh? Well, Alison's organised this fundraising event. We're going to be pushing a hospital bed around the streets at lunchtime. And I thought you guys might want to help. 
Why not? Might be a laugh. Let's do it. No, I've got to keep on working, mate. It's a good cause. Yeah, it probably is, but I've got to get my portfolio together. Alex is coming around later. Right. Hey, listen, man, it may be a joke to you, right, but there could be a job in this for me. Hey, who's laughing? I think it's great you finally found something you we want to do. Okay, well, I'll try and get there if I finish on time. Great. Oh, um, before I forget, I brought you something that might help you painting. Good one. Thank you. Okay, what do you think? What do you think? Even I'd believe you were a doctor. Morning, Kirsty. Chris, how's Melanie? She's fine. Really? Have you seen her today? It's a day off. I take it there was an argument. <laughs> there was no argument. Yeah, sure. Don't tell me you're having doubts about this relationship already, especially after keeping things going long distance all these months. We're just going through a period of readjustment. And who's readjusting? Not you. Are you making fun of me? Some friend you are. Oh, surely you don't expect sympathy. Not after sleeping with Felicity. Who told you? No one. I just worked it out for myself. And you just confirmed it. Okay, let's go through. Excuse me. Come on, Steve. You can do that later. I'm not coming. Why not? I'm busy. Who's going to be in the bed? Hey, what about you, Mum? Oh, I'm quite capable of walking, thank you very yeah. much. Hey, why don't we draw straws? Okay. okay. Good idea. Um, Michael, I need to talk to you about the new ID card. Sure, just as soon as I get back. It is kind of urgent. I'm afraid we might have a rebellion on our hands. Some of the staff are worried about the cards being used instead of timesheets. Well, you don't expect me to sort it out, do you? I'll handle it. I just thought you should know there's been some opposition. Fair enough. Oh, what do you think I should do? Stick to your guns. I'll be right there to support you. <sighs> Sometimes, mate, you really... OK, are we all ready? Yep. After a unanimous decision, Mr McKenna, we decided that uh, you will hold the place of honour oh. in our bed. <laughs> Me? Uh, what a wise decision. Yeah, no one else looks sick enough. <laughs> all right, let's hit the streets. OK, oh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, yeah. 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 okay here we go. Yes. Bring him up. Let's raise the money. Come on, slaves. Pasta, pasta. Close your eyes. It's just like being at work. No slacking, Robert. Keep him away from the whips. <laughs> <laughs> yes. What are you doing? Uh, just giving Big Brother the day off. I don't know why they think they need cameras. They've got revenues. Mm, well, it's a pit. I can't even have a cup of coffee in peace. <laughs> Hey, did you talk to Jenny about the ID cards? Yep. She says there are no plans for the cards to replace timesheets. Believe that? Covering for McKenna, eh? Mm, probably. You know what? I don't think the doctors would stand for him doing that to them. Oh, get real? This isn't going to affect the doctors. We're the ones they want to step on. Mm. So what can we do? I reckon it's time for some guerrilla action. going to take his turn at pushing. We're already waiting for Jenny to come and do it for him. Why get doesn't the government do something? Oh, we're working on them. We're trying to get them to match our donation store. Well, and if he doesn't get the transplant? Well, he won't survive. And it has to be overseas. Yeah. It was a very frightening thing for someone this age. But he's been very brave. Please. Uh, I suppose so. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. God bless. Thank Nicely you. handled, Nurse Rayner. In his bedside manner, isn't it? Coming through, folks. Give generously. Yep, not too bad. Still, then, give generously. And I, um, I just finished this one today. Yeah. Still a bit wet. Oh, you're obviously very talented, but I'm afraid it's not exactly what I'm looking for. They're rubbish, aren't they? No. The thing is, I seem to have given you the wrong impression. When I asked for examples of your work, I meant like the mural in the coffee shop. It wasn't proper art. That's what I'm after. 
My business is interior design, Stuart. I'm after designs. It could be stenciled onto bathroom and kitchen tiles, that sort of thing. Sorry, I should have asked. No, no, it's my fault for not making it clear. You mustn't be discouraged. It could be very good for all I know. It's just not the sort of thing some Rimuera matron is going to want over her cooktop. Well, shoes if I'd known I was going to have to push his lordship halfway through town. Uh, the exercise will do you good, Marge. Hey, Daryl, you're in charge. Can't you get him to move his big fat whatnot? Uh, pass, Mum. Come on, folks, dig deep. Stop, 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 stop. Ah, you're going to get a bit of exercise now, are uh, we? Marge, must be your turn by oh, now. Good. Michael! Ah, oh, that's it, is it? <laughs> Look, um, I'm really sorry about Felicity. I, uh, it, it was a stupid fling. I, I would hate for it to ruin our French. Well, a shame you didn't think about that before. Yeah, I know. I, I try to think with my head, but uh, sometimes I, I still think with my... Uh, well, you know. Yeah. So, uh, look, I hope you're not going to do anything rash. You, you're not going to move out or anything. anything That's right? you're concerned about. About whether or not you have to go to the trouble to find a new flatmate. No. Well, shouldn't you be concerned about what effect this has on people long term? Not just me, but Melanie. Look, you can't go around hurting people and telling people sorry. I wasn't thinking with my head at the time. Yeah, look, I didn't stuff up your relationship with Felicity. You had already done that. That's not the point. Yeah. OK, look, I'm sorry. So you are considering moving out? I'll think about it. Oh, it restores your faith in human nature, doesn't it? Yeah, it's not a bad haul, is it? <laughs> you should be very proud of yourself. Yeah. Look, all for a few hours' work. Hundreds. Great. I'd better run. I'm going to catch the bank. Bye, love. Bye. Now, what are you looking so gloomy about? Alex didn't like any of my paintings. She's only after cutesy little designs for rich people's bathrooms. Oh, can't you do something like that? Yeah. No, I, Mum, I want to do something worthwhile, something serious. Oh, well, if you want to work... Yeah, I know. That's not the point. I liked what I was doing, be able to express myself. That's all very well, but if expressing yourself isn't going to pay the bills, why bother? I should have known you wouldn't understand. Oh, been doing your bit for charity, I see. Trying to sell the guilty conscience. Uh, Guy obviously wasted no time in telling you about Felicity's little scene. Caught with your hand in the cookie jar again. Yeah. You never learn, do you, Warner? Spare me the jokes. I'm worried enough about going home as it is. I think Melanie's perfectly entitled to be angry. Not Melanie, Hone. I don't suppose you fancy taking the night off. I really don't mind covering mm. you for shifting. No way. You deserve to suffer. So, you haven't seen Steve in, what, three years? Well, more like four, really. And you were close before then? Well, I thought we were. So, um... How come you've got different names? Well, um, the way Steve sees it is that uh, he doesn't want anything to do with me, and that includes my name. I guess he's ashamed. Oh, I'm sure he's not really. Not deep down. Mm -hmm. Hi, Jen. Uh, coffee? Thanks. Oh, I was coming to see you later about another personal training session. I'll get one of the boys to set something up for you. Actually, I was hoping you'd be free. Ah, well, <laughs> I don't know what we're taking over the business and everything. Oh. But I'm sure I can find time for you, Jenny. Yeah, not to need drop in the ocean, but it's a good start. Yeah. This photographer came in too and took some photographs. That was cool. I know, I just want to find some more ways that we can raise money. You know, I was thinking things like, you know, fashion shows, you know, charity auctions, that sort of thing. Do you reckon? Don't you reckon, Steve O? Yeah, yeah. Hey, Evan. You see my photographs of Sarah? Room? No, photograph. The photograph I. You haven't trampled on it or something, have you? No. Well, I left it over there, right next to the stereo. Where's yeah. it gone? Yeah. Um, we lent it to your father because he wanted to take a copy of it. You what? Hey, don't be so mean. Mean? You, you are trampling all over my feelings. How could you give Sarah to that bastard? Hey, he was really touched when we told him about it. Oh, Austin, sometimes you can be so stupid. Someone walks in with some sob story and you just you fall for it. You, you can be so blind. He seemed pretty genuine to me, actually. <sighs> you let anyone con you. <sighs> I suppose you're meaning Daryl. Yeah. Well, you've been very forgiving there, haven't you? 
Why can't you ever forgive anyone? No, Alison. Not for some things. Well, I think you're overreacting about your father, Steve. I mean, what? He, he goes to jail because he commits fraud. So what? Fraud. He is guilty of a crime much, much worse than fraud, Alison. That bastard should be in jail for life for what he did. Can you imagine it? <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> oh, you don't know how you've been there. <laughs> Darling! Max! Oh, we were about to send it a search party. Where have you been? <sighs> mm, lovely to see you. Well, yeah, you too. <laughs> well, I'd have been over sooner if you told me Mel was here. Especially if I'd known you had such a dishy flatmate. <sighs> Well, that's me. <laughs> uh, I hope you won't be cross, but we've made rather a hole in your cellar. Uh, the good stuff, I'm afraid. Um, you know I won't drink uh, rubbish. <laughs> I told her you wouldn't mind. No, 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 that's OK. Chris and I share and share alike, eh, <laughs> mate? Hey, look, what's one rejection? I mean, I've had thousands and much more personal ones. Anyway, most artists don't get recognised until they're dead. <laughs> Was that supposed to be encouraging? Yes. Well, I mean, no, but it's a fact. Uh, look at what's-his-name, uh, the one the song's about, uh, Starry, Starry Night, uh, Van Gogh. He never sold a single painting, and so he cut off his ear. Uh, but I'm not saying that you should do that or anything. Why not? Be a good publicity stunt. Oh, Stuart, you wouldn't. Mind if I join you? It's just to do. I've been thinking. I may have been a bit hasty before. What? Oh, do you think my paintings are right for bathrooms? Uh, no. What then? Well, I'm not sure. I don't know about real art. I only know what matches the curtains. But I do have a friend who's an art dealer, and I think I might be able to persuade him to have a look at your work. Yeah? That'd be great. Um, I could do some more stuff, experiment a bit more. Oh, definitely experiment. That's always a good idea. And if you're very good, well, I know lots of other gallery owners and collectors, and, well, people like me who like to encourage young talent. Seems I think the change is what I need If I'm looking for a chance for the dream Shine and street Taking time to hold my place Yesterday's another place Just living for the times we've seen When the writing on the wall says I'll be Shine and street Shortland Street was made with the help of your broadcasting fee, so you can see more of New Zealand On Air.